what's up everybody uh this is gary from exodus and i'm here to answer some fucking questions all right so uh let's get started okay first off i've got a question that comes from james ruddy from connecticut uh divian from johannesburg south africa joel will will Niriak, newcastle australia joseph grebel hong kang from sacramento sac town Lionel Mora from Argentina, Nicholas Angelo, Jack Fair from Wimbledon, North Dakota, and Nolan Hall from Regina, Canada, all asked me what advice would I give to anyone starting a band. Um, I would say um, get a day job. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. But learn a trade is really good to have something to fall back on because uh, you know us musicians been unemployed for a while now. But um, seriously practice work really hard at your craft and uh have fun got it have fun that's the most important thing uh next i got um daniel marich from graz austria how do i deal with other personalities um now they gotta deal with mine <laughs> i'm the guy that like, buys shit like this dude right. you know what um personalities are what they are um i get along well with all kinds of different people and you don't have to agree with everything I say or, you know, at all, you know, we can agree to disagree. All right. Um, now we got Ted from Donath, Germany, Josh Forrest from Brighton, UK, Daniel from Rome, Italy, James Ulmer from Lancaster, PA, James, Daniel from Portugal, Kieran Archibald from Scotland and Peyton Hurt from California. What is my favorite song to play live and which was your favorite to record? Um, Favorite to play live, probably um, Strike of the Beast. I love that wall of death. It's pretty epic. And um, it's always going to be um, one of my favorites. Uh, favorite to record, I'd have to say All of Bonded by Blood because it was just one big raging party. It was nuts. <laughs> okay. Now, Barrett Lindsay Boten from Nova Scotia. Eric Zetterstrom from Sweden. Josh Brooks from San Ramon. Gabor from Hungary and Alex from Athens, Greece, all asked what Exodus album are you most proud of? Persona non grata, fools. <laughs> Wait till you hear it. It's pretty rad. I'm serious. It's sick as hell. Other than that, you know, of course, Bonded by Blood. You know, Fabulous Disaster, Tempo of the Damned, all of them. They're like children. You know, you love them all, you know, sometimes more than others. Okay, now um, Mark Gordon Flaxton from the UK, Kieran Doherty. Alexandru Dan Pop from Romania, Jonas Mullen from Stockholm, Alex W and Braxton. I'll ask, what's my favorite riff to play? Um, uh, that's a hard one. That's like that children thing again. Uh, and then there are none. That's a fun one to play. War's My Shepherd. Um, you know, it's another really, really good riff I, you can dig into. You know, um, Iconoclasm, all of them. Those are all good shit, you know. There's 20 million riffs. Hard to pick one, that's for sure. All right, Eamon from Serbia asks, what is my favorite solo? Um, I love Death Amphetamine. I love the lead on that, you know, Bond by Blood. It's pretty basic, but it's a classic. And uh, there's some stuff on the new album I'm super proud of. All right, Felipe Tavera from Brazil. What is the hardest riff for me to play? Um... That's, um, you know, depends on how far along in the tour I am. Uh, you know, like um, something with a lot of downstrokes, you know, starting a, a show off early in a tour. And, um, you know, before your your chops are totally smoking like they should be. Um, but um, I don't know. That, they're my riffs, you know, Exodus riffs. So, you know, usually not too difficult. Uh, World Painted Blood from Slayer. That's a hard fucking riff to play because we always open with it and it's, you know, you don't have like eight songs of like, you know, built before it that your your chops are like totally pumping and the blood's going and everything. You know, you have to come out sometimes playing some festival in freezing cold and play that one. It's kind of tough. All right, uh, here we go. John Nocter from Dublin, Ireland asks, hardest song? Um, it's kind of the same question. 
same thing. Hardest riff, hardest song. Um, but you know, if it's hard, I just work on it. Get it, get my shit together. And um, Dave Elson from Grantham, England. Which Exodus song has never played that you wish you played more? A lot of them. <laughs> Talk to some of the other guys who don't know how to play everything. I'll blame it on them. Throw them all under the bus, even though I love them dearly. Uh, you know, we've never played the title track to the Trossi exhibition, and it's just a, it's an epic. You know, it's like Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd of Thrash Metal. Um, good song. So I'd love to play that live. Okay, guitar teacher questions. Nick from Canada and Neil Rodriguez from Western Springs, Illinois. We always hear about Kirk showing you riffs. Did you have any other guitar teachers? Um, I took like some beginning classical guitar at a local um, local junior college once, but that's it. I've never had any real form, formal training. And okay, Fawaz Barizli from Kuwait. Rad, all the way from Kuwait. Asks, uh, how, do, how did I realize that thrash was the way to go? <laughs> I just don't know. I do though. Love the shit. Really love thrash metal. I mean, I love traditional metal. I love black metal, death metal, you know, even some of the symphonic stuff. But, you know, it um, comes down to it. I'm a thrash guy. It's what I love to do. I like to go fast. Okay. Um, Jocelyn Godinez asks, what made me want to become a guitar player? Oh, you know, watching my heroes play on stage and before I ever picked up a guitar, that's what I wanted to do. You know, they looked like they were 10 feet tall uh, up there, you know, riffing out and shredding on solos. And I just wanted to do what I was, my heroes were doing. Okay, um, Michael from Toronto asked, what made me switch from active pickups after years of playing passive? Um, no, I don't play uh, passives. I record with them. I like them better in the studio for a lot of stuff. But live, I still use actives every day, all day. But uh, in the studio, sometimes you hear a little bit of the nuances of a good passive. And on the new album, I use the EMG passives, and they're amazing. Nicholas Anast Anastasatos, Anastasatos from South New Jersey. I hope I said that right. What's my favorite ESP to play? Right now, this one. Oh, yeah. Look at that guy. Oh. Pretty sick, right? Yeah, that's my new one. I still haven't given her a name yet. Okay, um, Nathaniel Batello from Texas asks, what are my thoughts on Axe Effects and Kemper? I've never used the Axe Effects, but I use the Kemper all the time. I use it almost exclusively on tour with Exodus. I have my Marshalls profiled into it, so you know I can travel with a lot smaller package and my tone goes everywhere I go on a flash drive. It's rad, they're an amazing tool. And uh, Lucas Carter says, what gear or pedals would I use to get the beat Bonded by Blood sound? I use two Super Overdrives, both of them on, the levels on 10 and the drives on zero through a 100 watt high watt. <laughs> My Marshall like took a shit on me and I borrowed John Marshall from the guy who filled in for James uh, a few times with Metallica, I borrowed his high watt and it just worked. I don't know why, but it did. Eric Gringus land in Landon, Louisiana. Eric Gringus. I'm the idiot. How did I get my sick tone on tempo? Guitar, cable, amp. That simple. Straight into my modded Marshall. Nothing else. Amazing, right? Totally killer. Andrew from Burlington, Ontario asked, what amps pedals did I use on the new album? I used uh, my Marshall Jubilee with uh, my signature mid-boost pedal from Proton Pedals and a Super Overdrive. And I also used a BB Sonic Maximizer for the first time in a million years. It added that thump to the Marshall, you know, and it's amazing, totally killer. Plugged that amp in to record and didn't touch a knob. So killer. All right, let's see. Uh, Mo Henderson from Frisco, Texas asks, what do I like about my signature guitars? They're killer. They sound amazing, they look great, and um, they're comfortable, and, and uh, they're the scale that I prefer now, which is, you know, Les Paul, 24 and 3 quarter inch scale, and they're just sick, killer shit. Joe from Middletown, Ohio asks, how I get 
How did I get the sound for his personal favorite, Sealed with the Fist? Once again, guitar, cable, Marshall head. Nothing else. Sick. Oh, and uh, also I use um, passives on that. I use these EMG high z pickups. They're really remarkable how good they sounded. All right. Justin from Washington asks, what non-metal band would I want to play in and why? Um, well, it's a little, I missed that boat, rest in peace, but it'd be Prince because he's my hero, but I don't think I have the chops for that. You know, and some of the rock and stuff, but um, I can get funky though. I can get funkier than most metal guys. I got some scratch guitar playing in me, you know, chicka, chicka, chicka. Okay, uh, Jason Kensky from Sterling Heights, Michigan asks, what would be my dream tour uh, bands to play with um acdc all the way never gonna happen <laughs> never has happened but it would be totally sick tony benoff from croatia asked what is my favorite non-metal albums the hard line according to according to terence trent drb it's badass and also um walking wounded by everything but the girl it's amazing and uh the new album uh, what's the name of that damn thing? Uh, never mind. Those two are good enough. <laughs> Victor Camille from Curitiba, Brazil asks, what bands influenced me? Um, ACDC, Ted Nugent, even though he's kind of, you know, I don't agree with much that comes out of his mouth. I agree with everything that comes out of his guitar. Um, you know, Judas Priest, Black Sabbath, you know, um, Leonard Skinnerd. Montrose, you know, 20 million. I started out on hard rock and that's my early influence. Rainbow, Deep Purple. Okay, um, Ralph Al Alam from Lebanon, killer. And Morgan Smith from Davenport, Iowa. And also Voltrex asked what inspired me to play guitar. Once again, seeing my heroes do that shit on stage. I wanted to do what they were doing. It looked fun and it is. And um, okay, Marion Yeo from Singapore says, I hear touring is mentally, physically draining. What do I do on tour to help with that sleep? Yeah, got to get your rest. Uh, I'm not 25 anymore where I can just get wrecked and drink myself to sleep and do it again every night. I have to make sure I get my rest and no hangovers. Got to like moderate. And you, you know, you just got to eat right and not stress. Okay, um, Ed Berg, Seattle. What is my favorite tour moment with Paul Bailoff? 1997, he had tore up his ankle when he missed a, a step. And uh, we had a day off and went to Disney World. And I pushed him around in a wheelchair all day and we got to the front of all the ride lines because he was in a wheelchair and that was just hilarious. Whole day was just, we couldn't stop laughing. It was amazing. And uh, Matthew Drums from Slovenia asks, what is the craziest thing that has happened with a fan at a show? Um, I don't know. They're all crazy. If you come to an Exodus show, you're nuts. <laughs> you, are, you already got mental issues. Um, but, um, yeah, I've seen a lot of crazy shit, you know. Maybe it's that guy at the front of the stage who grabbed Rob Dukes' gig sock at the end of the final show of a tour and put it in his mouth. That was pretty nasty. He saw him take his took it. He saw him take his socks off and he put it in his fucking mouth. What's wrong with people? I don't know. Okay, um, Zonamir Lusik from Chile, and I hope I said that right. Says we know there is no, no ballad rule, but did you ever come close and have a moment of weakness? You know, I don't know. I'm good at writing that kind of shit, though. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I can write, like, really pretty nice stuff. Um, but uh, it's just not Exodus, you know. Who wants to hear us play a ballad? Nobody, right? You want to hear us do songs about killing people. <laughs> okay. Um, Leslie Medina from San Diego, California asks, What was my childhood like, and do you think it shaped me into the adult I am today? Yes, it did. I had a wonderful, perfect childhood, the youngest of six kids and wonderful parents who were supportive in all my different endeavors, whether it's BMX or skateboarding or guitar playing, you know, and it was awesome. And I just try to be half as good of a father to my own kids as my father was to me. So, you know, it certainly shaped me. Um, Dries Gouverts from Belgium. And once again, I'm hoping I said that right. 
They asked what was my favorite movie I watched during the pandemic. Um, I watched all of Boardwalk Empire, a TV show, not a movie. It was amazing. I, I binge watched a lot of like long multi-season TV shows because I had nothing but time. And uh, Bob Petrosino from Tom's River, New Jersey. Asked, how did I feel when Kirk left? Were, was I happy? Did I start practicing more? Were you pissed? Uh, we were pissed for a minute. And um, then we were happy and we had a big party for him. And, and I, did, I already practiced like hours and hours a day. And uh, I was kind of happy after the initial, you know, the initial thing because it was my band now. And we got violent. Mm-hmm. And um, let me see, what do we got next here? Right, uh, Tom Robinson from Essex, Germany asks, would I rather never pick up a guitar and never drink again? Drink, come on. I don't drink near as much as I did, and I wish I played guitar as much as I did, but, you know, my elbow problems and shit like that. But I am getting back into shape. Elbows are coming along good. Nick Patterson asked if I could be in any band in history, what would it be? Prince. Prince and the Revolution. That band. I'd be all over that shit. Um, Bogdan from Moldo Moldova asked, do I have any weird habits when playing guitar or practicing along? I grunt a lot. And uh, people, when I record albums, they notice it because I kind of, I don't breathe. Like, I forget to breathe when I'm, like, really into it. And so I'm kind of, like, you know, grunting from, like, taking little breaths so like it's pretty funny <laughs> and uh, so, you know, I know some people like I've had engineers say that I kind of like sing along the solo sometimes so um, but I don't realize it but I'm sitting there it's fucking stupid okay um let me see Colin Chappelle from Germany asked would I rather be able to fly like Superman or teleport yourself like Nightcrawler. Um, they both be killer because you know why? I could get off stage and I could just bounce on home after every show would be rad. Okay, um, and that's it. That's the last one and I'm done. Thanks everybody. Hope to see everybody soon. Bye.